Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and this is my Lord of the Rings hobby. And in today's video we'll be painting the Urukai Warriors, the ones that we see at Helm's Deep. Now these are a very simple uh, paint scheme, so it shouldn't take too long to do this one. Uh, the only difference is what I'm going to do from the Games Workshop stuff is use the Iron Warriors. Because it is a lot darker than the uh, Lead Belcher. As you can tell just there it's only slightly darker but i feel like that there once we get our shade on it make a big difference like i said we're going to start first with our iron warriors uh then we'll have to change over our, and this is literally going to go all over all the metals got a bit of water with that probably a bit too much on my palette now but it's okay and we're going to try and get a nice smooth finish all the way around it <laughs> not worrying too much if you have to, we can do a second coat with this, uh, but not really a great need to fully fi uh, finish it. So we're just going to do it all over the shield, as you can see here, get a nice smooth finish. Like, it doesn't matter if this is a little bit translucent because of it's a black sort of metal. It works out pretty well. We're just going to take care around the top of the armor near his chin. We're trying to avoid getting anywhere we don't want to. There we go, so this is the model now, finally done. As you can see, it's not a full coverage, but it's enough to get a shine of that dirty metal look already. So I'm really happy with that. Once we get our shade done, it look even better. The next color we're gonna do, we're gonna paint is skin, and that is the Kastachan flesh. Hopefully I've said that right. Uh, I'm gonna do that all over, of course, this flesh bits, and then we're gonna look at the smaller details of the levers and the uh, black lever later on. So I'll give this a quick shake. So do take your time around this bit. Don't no need to rush. We're gonna look at so these legs, like I said, and his face area. Make sure it doesn't matter if you get it on the teeth. We can slowly sort that out at a later date. Uh, again, we'll do that as we get closer to the time. But take your time. And all we're gonna do is look for his legs here. So let's get it actually on. And the reason why we're doing this is because the lever and so forth is a lot easier to tidy up. Okay guys, as you can see now we've added the flesh tone all around the model where it needs it. Not forgetting the back. Don't worry if you make a bit of a mess on this one because we can tidy up. Especially now that we're going to do the levers. So we're looking at a lever, stri uh, lever bit of cloth basically. The lever belts we're going to do separate, a different color. We're going to use that as black. Uh, but mainly this little undercoat, undercloth bit around the crotch area. As they like to keep it modest, uh, we'll do that now. And we're just going to use simple colour for that, which is our coarse rhinoxide. Again, take your time while doing this. Don't rush it. We want to try and keep things nice and neat now because we don't want to keep going over our bits and models. But if you do, this is why we're doing them all now. Mistakes can be easily fixed. That's why we like to do shades very last, or I do at least, because makes it easier for myself in case I do make any mistakes it's really warm today so a lot of the paints are dry, uh, drying quicker okay so as you can see we're just gonna get the cloth we go nice and steady especially around the uh, metallic area make sure we don't hit anything make sure we're not also on the cloth uh, skin area sorry take your time make sure we get all of it all the little nuts and crannies it looks very different uh like it looks very hard to tell the ones and we use that on his hair on his hands and so forth anything where he might have a uh, anything black basically mainly his hair area all up here so make sure we're just covering it all giving it a nice good good cover And then, as you can see, we've got some leather straps. I don't know if you'll be able to see the leather straps on his back, but you can these ones here. So we're just going to quickly go over them. Taking our time now, make sure we're not getting... Okay, so that's the black done. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but it's on the, uh, basically, his glove area there. And, of course, on the back. So we've done his hair and also the straps. So that's with Black Legion. I, can't, I don't think I said what I've used, but I've just used the contrast Black Legion. You can use the bad and black and so forth but recently i found this seems to cover a lot better uh even if it takes two coats it's just smoother so by all means if you want to 
use that or use a bad and black it doesn't really matter so our base colors are done now so now what we're going to do is chuck our washes on so the first one we're going to use is we're going to do the skin with agra earth shade first so we're going to look at the skin the cloth here it doesn't really matter where else you get it but we're not going to try and keep it off the metal so do take your time again i'm going to use the media uh, small base just to give me a bit more control to make sure it doesn't go everywhere Oh, and also don't forget his little face area here. And all we want to do is just get this to sink into the recesses. Put that over here. And then we're just going to get our shade brush. Now, this might take a lot longer. This is probably the longest step you have, and it's using the null oil. I'm going to use that all over basically the rest of the model. Uh, but the difference is what we're going to do, we're probably going to do a couple of coats. I need to dampen that brush. Yeah. So it's not picking up the water as good. Always get a damp damp brush. Always helps with shading. I I think personally. You might slightly water it, but I don't think that matters. So what we're gonna do is just gonna do it really thick all over the model. Try and avoid his skin. Okay, so this is two coats covered. Or not the whole model, so you can see we really darkened it down. Uh, you could argue probably a bit too dark, uh, but from what we remember of the film so far, these guys were literally, it's more of a very black armour than anything else. Uh, so I did two coats of null no, no oil. Null, no, null, no, null, no, null, no, null no, oil. I don't know I struggle with that one. Uh, but if you wanted to, you could actually just use Water Down Black Legion. I've seen that done. So depending on what you've got in your painting thing uh, set up. But it wouldn't surprise me if everyone really should have the null oil ready. Null, null oil ready. So what we're going to do now is highlight. So we're going to actually highlight the skin first. Just because that's the trickery bits inside everywhere else. And then we're going to slowly highlight the rest of the model. Uh, especially the silvers. Go around and do the blacks. And of course the little cloth bit leather cloth bit I don't know. so the first color we're going to use is blood reaver yeah blood reaver flesh so we can give that pot a quick shake now we're not going to use much of this to be fair probably just a dollop onto our palette here a bit of water now this might be the tricky bit but let's see if we can actually see where we're going to highlight So we're just going to get a bit on our brush. We're just going to make sure we have thin it all the way out. So you twist in the brush. We've got quite a bit. Nice point. So let's have a quick look. So the first one we're going to look at is this bit here. Above his knee. That muscle. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Probably not, but we're just going to literally go on the outlines of his muscles. Let's see if we can actually see the difference. You can see we've got all like the nice little highlights all the way around the edge. So we're getting his muscles, especially his muscles. He works hard for him. Let's show him a bit of respect. We're doing a bit on his chin. Can't really see that much on the chin, but yeah. Cool. Right. Next one we're going to use is our Doomdoll Brown. I'm going to use that on the uh, leather on his little cape bit or whatever you want to call it, his cloths. I think I always say leather because this is literally the go-to leather. I keep hitting the microphone. This is quite runny. We'll do. So what we're going to do is focus first on his little highlighted bit here. I'll bring that to a nice little point. Sorry, let's get it into camera. Okay, guys, now we're happy with that. We're going to use Iron Breaker on the metal, and we're just going to do a very, very soft highlight. So, what we're going to do is just look going across the top there. 
and this literally is just going to be to get all the corners so near enough the side of your brush for most of it just to show that lovely colouring get those little dots around good and wherever else you want it to go right so i'll crack on and do this and uh see you back soon okay guys so there you go that's the metals done i'm quite happy with that you can slowly see as you turn the model all the little highlights which i think is the main thing we have done a lot of edge highlighting with this model so just make sure we got the edges and then i've also added the small little details so let's bring that up a bit more small little details on the shield just like it's been whacked it's not just been chucked on top of other stuff too uh same with all his armor but we've got the main highlighted bits to make him stand out and he's looking pretty cool right on to the next one so we're going to use a skaven blight dinge and that's just going on all the black so this is again this is going to be a very quick highlight oh so now once we're happy with that we are literally just going to add Get rid of that excess, and we're just gonna look for the edges of, like I said, his hands. But we're happy with that. Use the side of our brush just to get the rest of this hair done. Okay, guys, once we're happy with that, we've done the black. I don't know if you'll be able to see that great on the camera, sort of. But we're doing these nice little grey hair there all along the leather belts and so forth. Make sure it's really nice and tidy. And there we have it, guys, our finished model. Been quite cool, if you don't mind me saying. I've done a little like concrete base like he's on uh, Helm's Deep, actually on the Homburg itself. Maybe running up the ramp or on the walls fighting uh, the defenders. I quite actually like that as a paint scheme. Probably a little bit too thick on the base. But I think for me, I don't really care about that. I'll never use these for competitions. I'm just going to use them for my own, uh, my own personal use. Uh, which I have actually bought recently the rest of the Homburg the Siege of Helm's Deep set, uh, which is basically 85 warriors, a ballista and so forth. So I'm going to paint them up soon. I might do them as a YouTube video. I don't know if you will be interested in that, but it'll be painting nearly 100 figures, uh, probably for both things. But yeah, there we go. That's your Urukai warrior done. Base wise, don't forget, do what you want. But he looks kind of cool, doesn't he? Like he's getting ready to fight a Rohan warrior, which I'm trying to find. I haven't got any next to me, so... Never mind. So yeah, there we go guys. If you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.